things, right? Ah! Super nervous for this first take. It's all right. It's okay. just a, it's just a demo. Uh -huh. We're just practicing. All right. Wait, do I look like a college student? Can you do this? Yeah. Will you buy Go to River Falls? Shh. Do I know like mascots and stuff and songs? Mm -hmm. I'll say an orientation. I was an orientation leader. No one will even question me. Yes. I can probably get it behind the scenes. Okay. Sound sound like you know what you're doing. Do like that, and then. And you'll be good. Do you yeah. think? There, perfect, right? It looks like a little jukebox with my tea sets, my family dice, my eclectic of uh, nice snacks, this uh, wood burned piece by Matthew Eugene Watkins. A lot of, it's a lot of nice segments of stuff. The, uh, drop down from the trip to Michigan all the way to Mackinac Island with a nice kitchen mouse. The shout out to BEQ. 2019 with not only the penmanship of my sorority, but then also Mania, we got this. All right, I think we are all good in making sure that everything is aligned full front and center. And you know what? Even if you have to question it, just remember, never apologize for who you are. Is it okay if I touch you on your nose? Do you find that? Which nose do you prefer? This one or that one? 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 Welcome to Cool Flicks. Cool Flicks. Okay, so thanks for letting me do this demo reel. Um, this is actually the Daniel Giannis Ford, um, not any lookalikes. Uh, this is actually the Rebecca Morley. I even have a signature. I have now, I can now say I um, know what it is like to be a student at the U Double River Falls in Wisconsin uh school because that's where everyone goes if they want to be considered serious in this industry uh at least that's what i was told by the best orientation leader daniel Leonis ford i should know as a orientation leader and also a uh, university village uh student coordinator and also a cert certified leader anyway i don't want to go ahead about my credentials this man this man right here dressed like every devilish person has always wanted at the top of his university this this is the cat to be with and i am in the daniel yonas ford beck romarley joy leveled uh behind the studios right now i think there's actually going to be a session done later today for people who don't know this is actually march 5th and uh we are going to be planning and hosting a grand opening and a launch party at the same time so uh daniel i don't want to take too much of your time with everything that is going on with this world but um, there was a uh, great thing that happened uh, in a few years from now where this actually gets turned into a magnificent area uh, that in 2020 is the place that this type of stuff happens and people come together on Sundays for some family bondage time to make sure that they're drinking teas and coffees and sharing nice snacks, although that's not happening right now, which is funny because when this video goes out on March 6th. It is going to be so sick. Everyone's going to be wondering why were they ever quiet back in that little old house. So Daniel, so I know the viewers at home don't know yet what it was like to get Janine to this level of credential, not only switching out my pants, but convincing me that multiple colors was acceptable. I first showed up and I'm going to out myself. Daniel had to edify me and what it meant to be a brand ambassador. I I showed up all with makeup. Uh, I had pictures of his grandma on the wall. Uh, at one time, I thought it was a great idea to have a friend's ex-girlfriend's piece of pop art on the wall because I thought it was, you know, uh, a sign of respect. And apparently, it has caused him to cause uh, questions about my sexuality. I have no idea anymore. But I am so glad that Daniel edified me and what it means to be a Minnesota. Uh, person esque with a little bit of the squeaky clean background from the Minnesota cousins called Wisconsin. I knew nothing of this. I am a California bred uh, with a breed that is cousined in Michigan. Don't you know there is a Mackinac Island with fudge and a bunch of salt water? It's happy. All you gotta do is ride around, be happy. Go around with Scott and Brenda by the end, you will mend all the relationships that you've ever had in your life. Just you, you know, don't have to stay married to one person all your life. Da 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 da. So, uh, yeah, we should go to Michigan soon. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I do want to get back to this because I realize I take a lot of Daniel's time. Daniel, thank you again for letting me be on your show. I know you're going to play the host for like the next like minute or so, but I just want everyone to know I am a huge fan 
of all of the work that Matthew Daniel Ford and I think his name is Paulo Martins. I had to remember it by like pretending I didn't know that it was Marco Polo and it was actually someone just calling attendance incorrect in class and it was like Martin Paulo uh, Martins pa Paulo. It's it's still right. You just you know said it wrong the first time. Marco, no, you were actually now you're really wrong and I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna say Paulo again. What is this guy? My teacher or something? Yes, actually, he was your teacher. He was great at his job, and now I am here because I think that there is a lot of potential with this cool toys episode. Right. You think I still haven't figured out? Who was the professor for Matthew Daniel Ford? I don't know. Me neither. Where does he get all his ideas? I know you get most of yours from a little blue blocks and blocks box that is a much large on the inside and it is on the outside. <laughs> Investigate. Where would you say, as you know, not only his brother but his college roommate and also after college roommate, where would you say would be a good spot? To investigate? Yes. Wait, what are we investigating? I want to get on the show. I want this show to become popular. That is my ending goal. And I said it within five minutes. Mouse don't lie. Wait, wait, wait. What's is Mouse that... saying? I don't know. 55, 55 minutes. 55? Oh, shoot. I thought this was a minute timer. <sighs> wait, that's okay. So if I round it all the way to the five, let's see. Okay, it'll spend more than five minutes then. Uh-oh. It's okay, this will be B footage now. <laughs> it was B footage. Let's be footage the whole time. Actually, you know what? You're gonna have to do a lot of work on this to make it look like an actual interview. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stop it right now, though. Actually, no. Do you want to interview me now? I mean, this is you're already on the show, and this is the demo reel, and we're already reviewing Brave Little Toaster. Oh yeah, because you're, you're right. not just in your nicer clothes, so that isn't the you interviewing to you know talk about a thing, right? Yeah, you're right. Just checking. Okay, I wasn't sure if we were going forward in time or reverse or time. Apparently we reverse. Because I thought I was going to dress up next, so I made all the plugs about what will be on the wall. But then when it just switches from that, it'll be like, wow, that place did get really nice. But all you did was switch a few pictures. But for people who come over, they'll really think like, wow. It's a completely different space. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna go over there and they're like, wow, did, did you get rid of one of the refrigerators? Now we still have all the no, refrigerators. Yeah, they're still over there. We just have to... Jack's yeah, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And then like, I walk in here, we've got a massage chair, and like we've lost most of our books. I'm like, but what makes go? you think you're qualified to be on the show? Tell me that. So, I realize I delegate a lot, but what I really want to be is the lamp. And I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that there was a call out there that let me know I needed to make sure that one movie that I made sure I demoed was the Brave Little Toaster. Yeah. Now, now let me stop you real quick. Okay. All right. So we've sent out an ad on the Craigslist, you know, in looking for men. You know, it's in the looking for men section. Okay. And then you show up here to interview for this position. I am dressed the manliest of men. You've now helped me acquire these occasions. You should have seen me earlier. I was... Devilishly handsome. Hmm. Now, I like to think that Cool Flix is forward thinking, okay? I'm not, forward thinking or forward thinking? Forward thinking. We're forward thinking. Thinking forward. Word. All right, Is that so, why? Okay. So I, I believe that women should be able to drive. Okay. okay. I think they should be able to leave the kitchen at okay. least once a day. So we'll give you a shot on the show. Now, How big is my kitchen? Because I've lived in a studio, so actually, my kitchen is my entire space. Are you allowed in my kitchen if I don't want you there? Oh, well, well you see, that's the thing about men. We can go wherever we want and get away with it. Mm, I don't know if I like double standards on this planet. Well, it's the 90s. That's that's how it works. Is it, though? Is it? It was, like, more like 07 last time I really checked. <sighs> Pretty sure we're, like, 20th century. I just got called a millennial because I was jogging in the morning. I was like, well, I literally have nothing on me. It's like, oh, it's just because you think I look young? You should see me when I'm 30. <laughs> You're still going to be questioning it. I'm going to be wondering, why are you still so angry? <laughs> so what are you going to give to the show? I think what I'm going to give is my high sensitive uh, insight of realizing maybe I shouldn't be on the show. You should just let me... 
perform for you. I just want to do improv. I don't actually want anything recorded. Just want to do improv. Just one one hit wonders. Recorded or not recorded? I want people to believe it's going to be good without having to see it. Because it's really for the person <laughs> who's there. And then if they want other people to show up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's what I really want. That makes sense. Like, I really wish you would have been there for this Western. Like... Actually, that's the next thing I want to interview. Before we do Capstone Dance, I want to do a Cool Flicks episode of a musical I saw my friends direct and act in. It's called Western. It's hilarious. One of the main characters is a freaking cactus. Sounds pretty hilarious. Devishly. I thought I was going to pitch this idea. Turns out I was telling this guy that Matt was my roommate. Apparently Matt hates being called roommate. How did I know that? What's wrong with being a roommate? Apparently it's not the Ford way. Damn, damn, damn. But I felt awkward. I'm like, shoot, I've been calling Matt my roommate this high the time I'm pitching. Like, this, do I now pitch Joy? And she won't get mad if I call her my roommate. Yeah, I'm pitching Joy. Wow, Joy's amazing. Oh. <laughs> I've never had so many views. No, that's not my sister. You're weird. <laughs> she could be, though, technically. Well, enough to late, anything's possible. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for letting me record this. Uh, I don't know. I have a lot of ideas, and most of them never get heard. I think that's a good demo uh, practice round. Okay, um, what part? So now we'll do like the B footage. Do you want me to stop it so that but you that can... wasn't the B footage. Oh no! I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm gonna just like cut the whole scene about me dressing up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because anyone who would know Dean Watkins would know that she wouldn't have done that. Well, like, the, that whole the character thing of Dean Watkins auditioning for Cool Flix, they may not know. Well, that's the best thing, is I get to show them, and I do that in, like, one real take. That's true. Because, let's be honest, like, I've already had a pop character. Like, I, I know, you can even do whatever you want. I, when I was recording, I was doing that whole scene I where know. you... Oh, so much fun. Now you know how I feel about animals. That's literally how I feel about animals. They literally are kids. And, like, oh, my gosh. Just threw that you killed our rabbit in our face. I know, as a way of uh, arguing and winning. Like, it still bothers me, like, that no one that questioned after that until I said it, like, well, who actually let the rabbit out of the cage if the rabbit was in the cage? Oh, we didn't think about that. Someone let him out of the cage. Or someone forgot to close the cage. I know. One thing you will find out very soon in my family is animals, for some reason, do not just accidentally cry. I mean, maybe that's an already always. You're right. When you say you're sick of your lizard and your mom won't return it for you, and the next day you literally accidentally left the metal hot light on his little plastic cage because you forgot you were cleaning his cage, but you never cleaned his cage, so why was today the day you forgot? Maybe that was the first time she tried cleaning the cage and failed miserably. Uh, I wish we would have stopped trying to be cats. <laughs> A lot of them could have. Was it like Lisa Simpson and her snowballs? Pretty much. And then there was like, maybe it's not cats, maybe I need dogs. Stop it, stop it, these are things are bigger, we've been out eating cages. I know you're trying to escape your uh, real world problems, but don't take it out on the animals. Oh, she is, she's good. Actually, I think I'm really good too. Like, I was like, I saw what it looked like to have children, I was like, shit, ew. Gotta have a little Snickers. Shit this? Yeah, Daniel, like, I was the sister that don't talk to me about problems because as soon as you do something to me, I will do it to you and you will not want it. But now when I do it, it's a surprise birthday party. And it's still traumatizing for everyone. And well, if well, it at least you because of the candle one. I know, I was super traumatized by that. <laughs> I know, I thought it was bad. I was like, no, it's totally me. Um, all, all I'll rest the case on that is realizing that we all have our own versions of what trauma is and if it comes from like people disowning you versus people disowning themselves, I'd rather them disown me. Figure, figure yourself out and I'll be here when you're coming back to see your family and I love you. Oh, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. That's all I really feel about it. I think it's a nice way of feeling. So we should have the photos now? Do you still want to do that bit? Yeah, I mean... But I can keep these clothes, I don't have to change? Yeah, so it's the actual review time. Okay, what if I do change, though? That's fine, too. Okay, but we'll pretend like I didn't change in some of the bits. Like, you can, like, cross it in and out. Because now I know he does that, and I know he has him disappear. 
And then you like kick the chair and it's like, wait, what, what was all that stuff in the thing? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to edit all that stuff in there. Okay. I mean, you're editing this, right? I think so. This is such a hard mode. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure TikTok has all of the features you need for editing. I love you. I love your outfit, by the way. Um, let's do a couple more shameless promotions. So, uh, yeah, this is also our uh, open area. Don't so we forget can do, snap fitting. We, we work and push ourselves to the limits to whatever that means. Push the fitness. We got ah. this. And then uh, we always make sure that we're sharing our small journal yeah. with our big thoughts and uh, making sure we're writing that letters with hidden encryptions back and forth. Like uh, Chris Ford was able to answer first, what type of house weighs the least? Yeah. You remember? A light house. Heck, yeah. And you can write down these answers with a Bequinox pen. And then for your viewing pleasures, uh, what we did share but we did not share was, uh, shoot, we didn't have time for it, actually. I didn't even grab the deck. But what we were talking about was uh, we were giving gifts, actually, um, that will be played next time we do a Cool Flicks bit by Nathan, I think it's middle name A, good? That sounds true. Yeah, and so in regards to gifts that were given, there were two gifts that stood out the most. One of them was definitely this one. And then there's another one. Should we show it or should we leave it? We should, we should probably leave it. No, we should probably leave it for right now. We'll leave it. So next time we become, we'll have the second gift that Nathan A. Good gave us that we yeah. may keep a little bit longer, but we'll definitely return this by the time we see him next. And so then we come to the big finale of why everything was actually done and said. And just we need everyone to know that you can have just as much fun doing something as a surprise for others as yourself. So not only will this be the new opening by tomorrow's tomorrow's to the six, right? We have so much stuff to plan for. We haven't even gone grocery shopping. Oh no. Um, it's okay, we'll get all done in a day. So how? by tomorrow, this time, this will be the grand opening, not only for someone's birthday, but also for a book launch, and also maybe another birthday. But for first, we're gonna make sure that March 6th is saved and booked only for the owner of this new spot. Rebecca Joy. Huzzah! Four. Yay! What so, are the chances? At least for everything that will be going on. Thank you again for uh, hosting us. This is a total shameless plug for how quickly you can turn a la location into anything with just a uh. few variations. And then you can, you know, just do what you need. But make sure you stay hydrated. You're keeping quarantined with your loved ones in the most decadent way possible. You're sharing the flavor. You're keeping on track. You're rolling the dice every time. You're keeping up. <laughs> and you've always got room to burn. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That was cool. Smooth, silky smooth. And you can always have your burned potatoes in the end. Idaho oh. potatoes. If they don't got them, no one will. Stay soon. See you soon. Cool flakes, cool flakes, cool flakes. I think we got everything in. No. I think so. I'm proud oh, of you. Oh, do, do we want to do the close-up stuff, though? Hold on. What close-up stuff? Oh. Wasn't that for the actual review?